Steve Andrews now with the story of Lucas Jones, a young man who is thankful to be alive, let alone on the golf course. His hip joint looks a little bit like a train wreck, and he's got tons of plates and screws in there holding things together. He may never be able to hit the ball quite as far because of the hip rotation and that kind of thing, but had it been his left hip, he wouldn't even be able to play. The tumor was five times the size of the ball he now hits. The tumor was about like the size of a grapefruit. It took him quite a while to recover physically. So it's been, it's been six years. He can't hit it nearly as far as his competition, but Lucas Jones still wins. The winner of the tournament at three and one for 36 holes is Lucas Jones. You might say he's been winning since he was 11 years old. Lucas has always been an athlete, soccer and basketball as a kid, but his love for sports came to a crashing halt midway through fifth grade. I had a lot of pain in my leg, so I mean, it was kind of, I, I really wondered what was going on. Here at Audubon Hospital is where Lucas's doctor gave him the news. It was cancer, and a rare form of cancer at that, putting in jeopardy not only Lucas's ability to play the sports he loved, but it put his life in jeopardy as well. Lucas had a Ewing sarcoma, um, and it's a um, rare type of um, bone cancer. It's really kind of a shocker, and I mean, you kind of got to face reality. His response without missing a beat was, I don't really care, or something along the lines of, I don't care so much about soccer, I just want to live. Forty percent of those diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma do not survive the first five years. Lucas and his doctors wasted no time spending three months in chemotherapy and radiation before a 10-hour long surgery. And we wanted to preserve some of that for him to be able to have function and remove this whole piece of bone in between with the tumor in it. He heard that and it was just, I mean, everyone was scared for him. I definitely cried several times, like first time I was in, in the hospital. You never know kind of how someone's going to function after a big operation like that. Uh, but that, of course, we'd always hope for the best. The surgery was successful. Lucas was cancer-free but still could barely walk. Months of grueling physical therapy turned into years, but his demeanor never wavered. Get in there and get it done. I mean, that's kind of how his attitude was, and it worked for him. Uh, he's strong. He was always very positive. <laughs> Never the athlete, Lucas would soon take up golf, a near impossible task in the beginning. I remember the first time I went out, I had to quit on the sixth hole just because I, I couldn't make it in with all the hills and stuff like that. And then eventually, probably a year after, so I mean, I was walking 18 holes and about to start playing tournaments. Even though it's hard on his hip joint, it's still so good for him physically that it's just, it's been a real blessing. Lucas was very open about the fact that um, that uh, because this is his right hip, that uh, it actually helps his golf stance and that he can still swing through his left side. Um, I'm not sure that, that many people want to come up with that, but uh, that's just the kind of kid that Lucas is. That's why his leg's shorter, so he's got to have that special shoe to help him, or to help with the limp. In one year, he shaved 20 strokes off his game. And this summer, it all culminated with Lucas's first championship match in the most prestigious junior tournament in Louisville. But to win, Lucas faced yet another daunting challenge, a two-hole deficit with nine to go in a grueling 36-hole match play. It's a little more of an effort for him to carry that bag and walk up and down the hills. I'm sure he'll poop out on the last nine or whatever, you know, and, and you understand that. It's, it's natural, but somehow he, he sucks it up and he goes. When everyone expected him to fade, Lucas won six of the final eight holes and was so dominant down the stretch, playing the final hole wasn't even necessary. It took six years, but the comeback was complete. Back then, it did not look like we were uh, going to make it this far, but... Uh come through this week, play like 140 holes or so, and really make it out and come on top. It was exciting for me. I can't even imagine what it would be like for him. It was uh, just seeing him being that happy and winning. I mean, that was, that's huge. Lucas is an inspiration for everyone who meets him or sees him or knows the story. The science and the anatomy and all that is kind of easy to quantify, but what's really hard to quantify in someone is their spirit. I would just want people to kind of be able to know to persevere you can make the best of it and try and go out there and do what you can